Albert, by the way, just pull up the banking names. Yet again, you know, this tier two banks, they are moving up. Bandhan Bank, that one's now up close to 5.5%. Pull up the intraday chart out there. Remember, that had not, not uh, participated as of uh, the start of this hour, but suddenly that's moved to the high point of the day. One probable reason could be that Tamil Nadu Mercantile Bank IPO, that's, uh, you know, on the cards in the next few weeks. So maybe some of these smaller banks as well, the street is reading it as maybe a bit of a, uh, you know, valuation catch up or the likes, given that you're having an IPO that could come up in the banking space after a while. So some of these banks reacting to that piece of news. But, uh, you know, Dipan, before we let you go, I uh, wanted to view on a couple of these names, uh, you know, IRCTC or Concor. Uh, you know, for Concor, the big trigger was that, in fact, you know, there'll be that divestment. It's hit multiple headwinds. Uh, what's the view out there? And if you go, or if you could give us a view on IRCTC, good business. Unfortunately, you know, the stock has corrected a little bit from the recent top. I think RCTC, I would just uh, like to wait and watch for the time being. And uh, given the valuations it's trading at and the potential uh, end of the day, it has just got one major source of revenue. So that's a risk factor. So keeping that in mind, I'd keep RCTC on the side. Uh, if you're already invested, it would remain invested, but not fresh purchases at these levels. Concord is quite interesting if the government actually goes ahead and privatizes it. Uh, all the uh, uncertainties around privatization, the kind of uh, rentals which have to be paid to the railway ministry, those have been sorted out. And given its kind of near monopolistic position and uh, the kind of uh, placements of, which are there for its container freight stations, and of course uh, the tracks which is already it has already laid uh, down, I think it's a very interesting opportunity. It's just that uh, privatization will act as a big trigger. But even if that doesn't happen, I think you could expect steady returns coming in from Concord. Okay, Deepan, we'll let you go on that note today. Thanks a lot for joining us. Uh, well, Adani Enterprises is doing well.